Let us pray the Angelus in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we begin our Eucharistic celebration, may we remind all our Mass goers to please make sure to fill out the given contact tracing form, write the complete and updated details on the form. The seat numbers are found printed on the floor on the row assigned to you. Please be reminded to wear your face mask and face shields properly throughout the Mass. Thank you. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. We are gathered here to worship, to honor, to praise, and give thanks to God. In this celebration, let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of William Yao, the family of the late Felicidad Malansala, Waldorf and Rosal family, Helen San Pablo, Florentina Alves, Adir David, Zenaida David, Calfarn Manufacturing Philippines Incorporated, Epren Pineda, Paulo Balahaja, Gemma Balahaja, Rene and Lourdes Arcilia, Lauren and Mike Ryan, Aurora David, Julieta David, Nilo David, Neon and Catherine Galang for their wedding anniversary, Balatbat and Laksa in honor of St. Clair of Assisi. For the birthday blessing of Reverend Father Jonathan Bartolome, Abel Cabigting, Earl Wayne Facundo, Jesus Sison, Seferino Canlas, Filomena Tuazon, Gladys Cochon, Ronald Makapinlak, Nestor Reyes III. For the physical and spiritual thanksgiving of Tang Pio and Imang Aurin Between and family. For the physical and spiritual complete healing of Ed and Tess Manalang and family, Elsa Ibay. For the special intentions and guidance of the Holy Spirit for families and friends of Father Noli, Father Meg, Father Mark, and Father Marvin, HRP staff and mandated organizations, Mario Trinidad Lazatin and family, Rodolfo and Vice Governor Lilian Nanay Pineda and family, Governor Dennis and Yoli Pineda and family, Rosel Pineda, Cel Puno, Cecilia and Miguel De Castro, Alan and Edna Vitug and family, Francia Manyalak, Ryan Leslie Quinto, Grace Santa Ana, Joel Santa Ana, Juan Jose Santa Ana, Noel Mananquil, Josephine Gonzalez, Marian Mananquil, Joy Espino, Yoli Quito, Jacqueline De Jesus, Nina Cruz, Jane Ison Guidote, Asher Angelo Diaz, Nathaniel Gabriel Bustos, Jose Chiazon and family, Gerald Chiazon and family, James Chiazon and family, Rudy and Marine Resultai and family, Colleen Pangilinan, Christian Jerome de Guzman. For the good quality extension of life and speedy recovery of Pilar Francisco. For the speedy recovery and complete healing of Tang Pio and Mang Between, Mang Auring Between, Ricardo Ramirez Sr., Helen San Pablo, Lawrence, Renato M. Panganiban, Rodolfo Dizon, Tess Pabalan, Milagros Amador, Amador Family, Jose Amador Jr., Arnold Amador, 
Maria Luisa Tolentino, Melissa and Procolo Reyes, June Rev. Limzon, Petronila De Vera, Melissa and Procolo Reyes, Sitong and Dina Villanueva, Quinn Freya T. Torno, MJG Torno, Felix and Hefelin Torno, Lourdes Mangabat, Jennifer Yumang. Let us remember our departed loved ones, especially Teresita Wilkerson, Aurora Nepomuceno Valdez, Dr. P.J. Nepomuceno, Monsignor Cosme Between, Monsignor Andres Between, Monsignor Alfredo Lorenzo, Jose Joaquina Between, Antonio Dizon, Lourdes Dizon, Mariam and Maisel Wong Gonzalez, Rodrigo Wong Gonzalez II, Alfonso Wong, Emilia and Santiago Gonzalez, Francisco and Francisca Di Choco, Alfredo Chow, Chua Tang Eng, Yao Bun Keng, Edward Yao, Santiago Tai, Antonia Reyes, Maximo Chow, Simeona, Cecilia, Lolita, Isabelo, Abraham Tayag, Jose Sensing Suarez, Sofia Suarez, Reynaldo Reyes, Herminia Reyes, Chito Reyes, Sofia Maliari, Aurora Suarez, Felipe Buan Jr., Rosenda Malig, Elvira Dizon, Esperanza Yapchua, Helen Yapchua, Gomer Solita Yapchua, Jaime Yapchua, Fortunato Solidad, Seferina Solidad, Francisco Chanco, Maria Chanco, Chua Kinchi, Amado Layug Calma, Emilia El Manaloto, Maria Teresa Javier, Francisco and Helasha Ortega, Ernesto Ortega, Mark Oliver Cruz, Robin Guevara, Daisy David, Kit Jerome David, Ricardo and Demetria Pineda, Soul Nearest the Gates of Heaven, Carlito and Nicolas Pineda, Manolito Guejo, Lorenza de Guzman, Lucas de Guzman, Vicente Martin Rivera, Carlos Antonio Villaflor, Ertrudes David, Ricardo Bermudo, Venancio David, Elisa Tanglao, Conrado Tanglao, Edgardo Tanglao, Jesusana Agipo, Marcelo Orozco, Adela Briner, Dr. Elmer Beltran, Emiliana Sunga, Mauro Sunga, Renato De Vera, Bernardo De Vera Sr., Bernardo De Vera Jr., Saturnino Alianige, Eusebia Alianige, Carmelino Alianige, Robert Masangkay, Maria Torno, Lucy Torno, Alberto Torno, Jacob Nakpil, Amador Valencia, Lourdes Manalo, Pelaya Manalo, Apong Taring Manalo, Del Sibug, Erlinda Sibug, Father Odon Santos, Father De La Paz, Father Victoria, Edwin Salunga, Romano Bolus Manguera, Ronald Mirasol, Maria Concepcion Mirasol, Efren Gueco, Lorenzo Manalo, Bienvenido Manalo, Ernesto Manalo, Calasag Garcia, Nunelo Cacap, Paulo Galang, Zachary Campbell, Yotekio Bruce, Adelaida Bruce, Hobita Budley, Felicidad Villar, Villamor Nukup, Nestor Nukup, Nolan Nukup, Luigi Angelo Santos, Raymond Malonzo, Felicidad Luge, Remedios Bello, Leonardo Cortez, Dennis Bello, Lida Jimboy, John Ray Narciso, Crispina Perez, Susana Francisco, Fe Henson, Josephine Angeles, Carissa Cruz, Arturo, Porita, Diosdado, Evangeli, Evangelina, Rolando, Huko, Elpijo, Elpija Dizon, Francisco Dizon, Concordia de Mabuyu, Consolacion Menjola, Pedro Menjola, Nelenita Menjola, Susana Soriano, Pantaleon Gomez, Julieta Gomez, 
Catalino Kunan, Ireneo Torres, Lucing Torres, Anisha Pineda, Emiliano Pineda, Nicolasa Pineda, the late Zepeda family, and Danao family, the late Barkin family, and the Ocariza family, Felipe Tan, Primitiba Tan, Angelito Tan, Pablo Espiritu, Lucia Espiritu, Juanita Espiritu, Melissa David, Ding Roque, Marino Valdez, Esperanza Tolentino, Pedro Tolentino Jr., Nicolas Tolentino. And we pray for the souls of all departed, especially those who are in most need of God's mercy. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Mark Christopher M. De Leon. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. As when family were gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear people of God, we are celebrating today the feast of St. Clare, the founder of the Poor Clare's Order. In a special way, we pray for all our Poor Clare sisters, that they may heed to the call of their vocation to pray unceasingly before the Blessed Sacrament. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clare to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, her Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, the headland of Pishgah, which faces Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead, and as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh. All the land of Judah, as far as the Western Sea, the Negev, the circuit of the Jordan, with the lowlands at Jericho, city of Palms, and as far as Zoar. The Lord then said to him, This is the land which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that I would give to their descendants, I have let you feast your eyes upon it, but you shall not cross over. So there, in the land of Moab, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died as the Lord had said. He was buried in the ravine opposite Beth Peor in the land of Moab. But to this day, no one knows the place of his burial. 
Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were undimmed and his vigor unabated. For 30 days, the children of Israel, Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab till they had completed the period of grief and mourning for Moses. Now Joshua, son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom. Since Moses has laid his hands upon him, and so the children of Israel gave him their obedience, thus carrying out the Lord's command to Moses. Since then, no prophet has arisen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He had no equal in all the signs and wonders the Lord sent him to perform in the land of Egypt's Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and against all his land and for the might and the terrifying power that Moses exhibited in the sight of all Israel the word of the Lord thanks be to God Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Come and see the works of God. His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Hear now all you fear God while I will declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Alleluia. 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 God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, Amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth 
about anything for which they are to pray. It shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is this particular belief among us which tells us that as a good follower of Jesus, we must imitate Him. As His follower, as much as we could, we must follow in His footsteps. And when we say we must follow in His footsteps, how hard, how difficult it may seem if we know that it is Jesus whom we follow, everything will be easy. Why? It's because of perspective and reason why we keep on doing that. My dear people of God, in our gospel reading for today, it is also the reminder for all of us that in everything that we do and pray, do not forget that God will grant our prayers. In everything that we do and pray, we must remember God hears us. God is with us. And God will never leave us alone. And as we celebrate the memorial of St. Claire of Assisi for today, she also tells us a beautiful story about our perspective in life on how it will help us understand things happening around us. And she says, We become what we love. And who we love shapes what we become. If we love things, we become a thing. If we love nothing, we become nothing. Imitation is not a literal mimicking of Christ. Rather, it means becoming the image of the beloved, an image disclosed through transformation. This means we are to become vessels of God's compassionate love for others. We become what we love. And when we love following Jesus, we become like Him, not just as simple imitators, but as an extension of His compassionate love. And from there, we challenge ourselves as followers of Jesus, what do you love to do? As followers of Jesus, what do you love to do? With St. Clair's prayers and intercession, hopefully, what we do is a result of what we love. And when we harvest the fruit of our labor, at the end of our journey here on earth, we can see all of them blooming and worthy to give praise to God. And going back to that idea, still again, it depends on our perspective. Still, it depends on how we look at things. Remember, what we do, what we love to do, shapes and shows who we really are. Amen.
Jesus tells us today, If two of you agree to ask something, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. So we pray together and say, May your presence fill us, O Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord. That the members of the church may be drawn close together, living in peace and harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. May your, your presence, presence fill us, us, Lord. That leaders of nations may respect the rights of every person and avoid repression and atrocities. Let us pray to the Lord. May your, your presence, presence fill us, us, Lord. That we may have the courage to speak the truth with love and accept criticisms graciously. Let us pray to the Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord. That the sick, the aged, and the homebound may see God's comfort and consolation in the compassion of those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord. That the dead may be cleansed and prepared for eternal unity with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord. In silence we now pray for our own intentions. Heavenly Father, with your Son in our midst, we ask you to help us believe in the goodness of each person and be patient with one another as you have been good to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For of the earth and work from human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. With the mystery of this water and wine, I come to share in the divinity of Christ. I humble himself to share of my Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Claire, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, 
we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Bishop, Pashan, our Bishop Emeritus, all the clergy and the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, St. Clare, St. Francis, St. Vincent Ferrer, and our Holy Father, St. Dominic, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. 
at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. A gentle reminder for orderly reception of Holy Communion. Please remain on your places and wait for the priest CMDC to approach you. Those who will receive the Holy Communion, please remain standing with your hands extended together. Those who will not receive the Holy Communion, you may be seated or kneel in prayer. The priest had already said the body of Christ, and we have responded, Amen. So there is no need for any word when the priest, the MDC, approaches you. Thank you. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord.
Please kneel for the Oracho Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has caused much suffering and even numerous deaths. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We pray for our national and local officials that they may choose and procure only the most effective vaccines transparently and only having the good of citizens in mind. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Palunso, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you in your loved ones, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. To maintain physical distancing, may we request everyone to stay on your seats and wait for our asherets. They will be guiding you on your way to our exit doors. May we also remind you to drop your contact tracing form at the drop boxes located near our exit doors. Thank you.
Oh, oh, oh.